How's it going everyone? My name is Ryan. I'm here in my bathroom because I just got out of the shower. My hair is kind of wet. The reason because of that is that I'm going to show you how I put on my tea gel today. So um, I'm going to style my hair first because that, this is a mess. But after that, I will get right to it. Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay, so I'm back and I'm ready to put on my gel. So before I go any further, I need to make some like little notes, disclaimer things. The amount of gel that I put on is my dose, which is what's recommended for me and my body. It's not the same for everyone. This video is just showing you how I put it on. I'm not telling you to put it on. I'm not recommending for you to put it on. If you do find yourself interested in testosterone gel, talk to your doctor about it. That's who you need to talk to. Okay, good? All right. First thing you're gonna wanna do is have a clean area. So depending on which arm you're putting it on, make sure it's clean and also your hands. Your hands have to be clean too. If you didn't just get out of the shower like me, then you could use just like hand soap, perfectly fine, just pump it, wash your arm, and then it's clean. So that's fine too, but I'm already pretty clean. But my dose is four pumps, four big pumps of this. So um, I think today it's this arm. Yeah, I'm gonna put on this arm. Usually I do this shirtless because it's just a little bit easier to not have to deal with uh, fabric, but you know, whatever. My dose is four pumps, but I apply it by two pumps, if that makes sense. I'll show you. So, so I have one, two, okay, two pumps, and then I start applying it all right here, on my top shoulder. So, you just rub that on. I don't know if you could hear that, but. And the reason why I apply it two pumps at a time is because it's a lot of gel and you need to wait for it to dry. And if you have a lot at once, then it's gonna take forever, you know? So I wait for that first application to dry. Now the reason why you wanna have a clean area and clean hands is because this stuff has, I think it's uh, alcohol, some kind of rubbing alcohol in it. And what that does is that if, it's, if your area is dirty, then it starts um, picking up all of your dead skin and stuff, and then you're like rubbing that all over, and it's like, it's nasty, okay? <laughs> Just know that it's gross and doesn't feel nice. So it's just better to already have a clean arm and clean hands because then you're not rubbing like dirt or dead skin all over you. And now I'm gonna put on my second application, which is the other two pumps. So I already put on two, now I'm putting on the last two. Same thing, just put it on the same area and just rub it in. The reason why I usually do the shirtless too is because if this isn't dried, then it kind of sticks to your clothes. Oh, also it, it does have a smell. I think someone asked me about that. It does have a smell, kind of smells like, it smells like rubbing alcohol. Yeah, it's not too bad. Just don't do it in like a very enclosed space because then the smell might just like be all up on your nose and you don't want that. <laughs> and again, usually I do this shirtless because after I apply it, I just um, walk around for a little bit and wait for it to dry completely so that way it doesn't stick on my clothes. Looks pretty good to me, looks dry. So now, since I put it on my bare hand, I'm going to wash this hand with soap. Just same soap, perfectly fine. Rinse that off. And now they're clean again and I could just dry them on my top. So just dry them over here. And that's it. I do this every day. And tomorrow I'm gonna be putting it on this arm and I just switch off every day. That's it. That's how I apply my testosterone gel. And then I'm good for the rest of the day until tomorrow. There was one time where I had some cuts on my hands and I applied the gel with that hand and it kind of burned, so just be wary of that. It's not, nothing bad's gonna happen. It's just cause of the alcohol, um, you know, going inside. <laughs> but you're fine, just be wary of the burning. So again, I want to emphasize that I'm not a doctor. I can't give you recommendations. Please don't ask me for recommendations on how much testosterone to put on or inject. I'm, I can't give you that kind of information. I'm not qualified. Yeah, that, that's, 
how I put on my testosterone. Side note, be sure to not let anyone touch you or don't be rubbing against other people after you applied it because it is transferable since it's right on top of your skin. It's a topical ointment kind of thing and um, you can transfer it to other people. After about three hours of it being dried, then you're okay. But if you just applied it, be careful. That's it, everyone. If you found this video helpful or informational, please give a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do that also. Put some comments with suggestions on what other videos you want to see. Because I've got some time recently. So <laughs> thanks for watching. Hope you all have a wonderful day. And I'll see you next time.